What's going on, there, lads and lasses? Welcome back to 100% Mags. So, of course, Newcastle United, according to the news, have put in a fourth bid for Mark Gurhi, uh, and Palace are considering it, according to reports last night, and then again confirmed this morning. Of course, uh, reports from Alonso Mattia last night uh, saying Newcastle had made a 60 mil plus 5 million add on bid for Mark Gurhi, uh, and of course, Newcastle have made it clear that this is the final offer for Mark Gurhey. If it is rejected, uh, according to reports from Alonso Mattia, he is saying that Newcastle will make a move for Alessandro Pastoni, uh, as he previously reported. Uh, then, of course, this morning, uh, reports from the Daily Mail, uh, Sammy uh, Mukbal of the Daily Mail coming out and saying Newcastle had submitted a fourth bid for Mark Gurhey. Uh, the package's deal is rumoured to be close to Palace's minimum 65 million valuation, even though we know that their minimum valuation uh, was 55 million. But like I said in the previous video talking about this, uh, on the third bid that was rejected, uh, Palace are moving the goalposts. So now it's 65 million minimum hopefully this time this is the one if not like i've just mentioned and uh, then of course according to alonso matias reports he's saying newcastle will go for alessandro pastoni instead uh, the package is said to be under consideration by palace and while it remains to be seen if they accept it the feeling is that a breakthrough is really close uh, on happening uh, but let us know your thoughts down in the comments below, you know. Uh, we've been going on a little while now with this uh, Mark Gurhey deal. Obviously, he's the guy that we'll want to bring in. He's got the Premier League experience already. And, like I've said in many, many videos already, he was England's best uh, centre-back at the Euros. And he was probably the best centre-back at the Euros as well. Um, so, you know, getting him in is the priority but we also need to look at bringing in the right winger as well obviously you know we've got money to spend because we've seen loads of um you know news coming out of we're looking at many different players so obviously we've got the money to spend but we do need to be able to get in the right players the players that are going to be coming in here and going to be wanting to play for the club. Mark Gurhey is one of them players. He said it himself. He wants to move to Newcastle United. It's only Crystal Palace that's holding it back. Uh, from happening. And then of course. You know. We need to get in that right winger as well. We don't have that long. Now until the Premier League season starts. Of course with it starting tonight. 8 o'clock for Man United and Fulham. Uh, tomorrow of course. Uh, Saturday uh, will be when we kick off our game against Southampton uh, it's in James's Park so he won't be here in time for that if the deal does go through uh, but he could be in time for the next game after that uh, but Palace have got to accept the deal Palace have got to you know work with us here we've moved up our price quite a bit uh, compared to where Palace were saying their minimum was. So if they say no to this this time around, then you know Newcastle definitely need to move away from this deal and look elsewhere, like Alonso Matias saying, maybe to uh, Alessandro Pistoni, you know, or maybe somebody else out there, and then maybe we could revisit this deal next window, like we did with the Sven Botman one when we are getting messed around on that with Lille. And then, of course, we left it, went and got somebody else, then revisited it in the next window and got our man that we wanted to get. Uh, of course, if we were to do that, and Mark he was still available the next window, then that valuation, what Palace are setting now, of £65 million, would come down quite a bit because uh, he would have less time on his contract, which would mean that... We're in a better situation uh, for to uh, get the deal done. And Palace would be pretty much 
trying to get what they can out of the deal. Uh, but that's my thoughts anyway on it. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Hit like, share, subscribe to the channel, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Hello, lads.